So a lot of you guys uh, a couple years back asked me to review the Pocophone F1 uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm not really interested. It's, it's you know, it's going to be a great phone. I know it's low in price, but after buying it, I was actually really impressed and then I actually sold that device for a very low price afterwards or pretty much at cost or whatever. Uh, and um, now the Pocophone X2 looks to be the second generation of the Pocophone. Now, Pocophone has announced that they are a separate brand. They're no longer Xiaomi. They're their own brand. And so, um, we'll see how that works out. But the Pocophone X2 is bringing some heat, man. I think if this phone comes out at the $300 price tag, it's probably going to beat out every phone on the market. I don't know how to, any other way to say that. Uh, it's probably going to beat out paper, specs, uh, performance. It's, just, it's probably going to all be there. Value, obviously, because the F1 was was full of value. Uh, but the Poco phone, this X2, the Poco X2, they have a website up. So they're letting you know we're not going to let anybody else leak our stuff. We're going to go ahead and give it to you ourselves. <clears throat> and at the recording of this video, it's not out yet. It'll be out in about four days or so, or five days. Uh, and um, I think it's going to be interesting, man. If these specs are what I'm hearing. And the price tag is still like 300 bucks, 400 or less. This phone murders, uh, pretty much slaughters everything on the market. Uh, as far as specs go, um, it's going to be really, really solid from what I can tell. Uh, and uh, I think it's pretty much people are saying it's a, a rebranded K30, uh, but it really doesn't matter because the phone actually leaked out onto the internet uh, today, as a matter of fact, in, in its in full entirety. Uh, so yeah, it may be similar to the K30, but the front of the K30 looks like the S10, so it really doesn't matter. So all these phones look alike pretty much at some point or another. <clears throat> so if this Poco Phone 2 uh, is the X2 and it's legit and it's going to have that nice price tag, everybody needs to watch out. Not just, you know, one OEM, uh, everybody needs to watch out because I don't think there's, especially OnePlus, I don't think there's any phones out there um that are being offered at such a good deal man it's such a good price it just doesn't exist it's um it, 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 it the poco phone shut down all it shut down oneplus and all of them when it first came out it gave the specs of the high-end devices at a 300 dollars price tag or 200 dollars price tag or whatever i got it for um and it was impressive. I can't say that it wasn't. The only problem that held that phone back is it was it, it didn't get LTE in the U.S. But I still used it. It still worked on 3G. And a lot of people probably still use that phone today. But uh, this X2, I think it's going to be impressive, man. So really hoping to get your thoughts on it uh, and see what you guys think about it. Are you ready for this next Poco phone? And would you drop everything and get this phone and keep this phone only? You know, they're saying that they're no longer associated with Xiaomi in a sense. You know, they're their own brand uh, and uh, they're ready to bring the thunder. And I think if they keep that pricing the same, it's a wrap for everyone. As long as it performs well and, and does well uh, and matches what's on paper, it's a wrap. I will have it too, by the way. If that price is right, I'm definitely going to get it. So we'll know in four to five days. Shaman Jay, what do you think about what's coming from Poco? Let's do it.